If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a technique that I've been using quite a lot recently, which is using an inkjet printer to print onto hard surfaces. I've used the Mod Podge transfer method in the past to make some vintage looking signs, but this is a quicker, easier and more accurate method. I'm going to be printing onto this oak board and this pine crate that I've made. So the first thing I need to do is sort out the design. I'm using Photoshop for this, but you can use your phone or anything really that you can connect to a printer. I'm making a sign for my partner Emma's baby shower and the crate is going to be for cards. Now I've got the design sorted, I need to print it on to the transfer paper. The paper that I'm using is just some all-purpose labels. I just got this from Tesco's, a supermarket, but you can get it from most stationery shops or I'll leave a link in the description for an Amazon link so that you can buy it online. What you have to do is to peel all of the labels off. If you want to save these, you can stick them onto another piece of non-stick paper, so something like baking paper will work. And then you're left with just the backing paper part, which is the part you need to print onto. Then you just put this into the printer with the shiny side up because we're printing the design onto the shiny side. Slightly awkward to get to my printer. When you print in, you have to make sure that you flip your design. With my printer, you can do this in the print settings, but if you can't with yours, you're going to have to flip the design when you design it rather than when you're printing it. So with that all flipped, I can then print out this design. And then this is what comes out. You can see the designs printed onto the sheet and you can probably just about see that the ink is still wet. All I've got to do now is just press the design onto the page and it'll transfer onto whatever you're printing onto. Just make sure that you don't move your paper or obviously design it's going to smudge then I can just peel that back and as you can see that prints onto whatever you're printing onto so I'm just going to finish these others off and then I'll show you the final result I like to then add a coat of matte lacquer to the surface just to prevent the design from being rubbed off. This is such a quick and easy way to print onto hard surfaces such as wood. And it always leaves a pretty decent finish. So a slightly different video this week, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If it's been helpful for you, please do like the video. Check out the channel for lots more videos. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.